Hi submarine friends, welcome back to watching me build my diesel electric submarine. How do you like my paint job? I decided to paint this because looking at that ugliness finally got old and I don't have to drill or weld or anything else on this so it's safe to paint the front. I got a, I've been using a hose here, a split hose for a seal. I'm going to see if I can find some kind of a, a seal that looks a little bit nicer than that hose. And that could be one piece, you know. Anyways, when I'm bored, I'll search the internet for something. Another thing I have to figure out, somebody brought up a really good point or reminded me of a good point, I think about it often, is insulating the hull. Now, I talked to other people, two other people who have similar submarines. One of them is 70 tons, but it's still a personal submarine, but it's gigantic. And then the other one is uh, actually almost exactly the same size as this. Plus there's a third one in California the same size. But anyways, they don't insulate their hull. Uh, they just live with the condensation. So I've operated a submarine, a 6,000 pound submarine in Canada in the summer. And the condensation was never a problem. When you dive the submarine, so you're at the surface, it's 30 degrees Celsius at the surface, you dive, it's four degrees on the bottom. Well, the hull starts to sweat, which is, and it's no big deal. Um, you come back to the surface, you open the hatch, you, you know, you have a fan circulating air and all of a sudden it's dry in there again. But with this guy here, using it in cold weather, which is the whole purpose of this, um, it may be a problem. So the other day I went out to my pickup and it just sits, I don't really use it in the winter. So it just sits there and one time I do have to use it. It's just draw, it's like raining inside off the windshield. So I'm thinking, oh man, if that was a submarine, that would really suck. So I'm thinking that I might have to spray some foam insulation against the interior wall. I don't wanna rush into that. I'm gonna to have to get some advice on that and Get lots of information because I sure don't want to do it and then have to undo it. Maybe it's a case of I should try everything out first and see if it's even needed. But somebody brought that up in a comment on Facebook the other day. I think it was yesterday actually. And it's a very good point. It's something that really has to be considered. Um, I am planning on a um, dehumidifier system in there. Uh, I have a couple of ideas of how I'm going to do that. Um, and when it's parked, when the submarine is parked and not in use, it's going to be sealed and vac and I'll pull a vacuum on the hull. And then I have an electrical connection going through the hull so I can plug in an AC powered um, dehumidifier to keep the humidity out. But uh, maybe that's all I need. Maybe I can even just have a dehumidifier that runs off the batteries and I can even put a solar panel on it or a windmill on it or something for when it's parked in the water for any amount of time. That might be an idea. Anyways, any suggestions are welcome on that. I'm really not a very big expert on condensation and controlling it. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to work on today is getting this electric rotate, or sorry, getting this rotating penetrator shaft installed. And what this is, is it's a stainless steel shaft with two O-rings machined on it. And then this housing, this bushing we'll call it, that gets welded into the hull. So I drill a hole in the hull and I weld this piece in, it's all stainless steel. And then uh, this end piece will have a handle on it and it's got a set screw so that will rotate the shaft and then this end here this little collar has a locking set screw and that stops the shaft from trying to move in and out well in and then this is to turn on the um, the valve for the exhaust right now I have to open the hatch I can just stand there, open the hatch, reach around and close that valve. I have to reach down and close it off. And there's a second little valve there that when I surface, I open the little tiny valve. It's a little mini quarter inch ball valve and that drains the exhaust. 
So when I open the valve to start the engine, all that water doesn't go back to the engine. It's actually drained out ahead of time. But if I want to dive in the submarine in bad weather, I don't have to close that little valve or open it. I can just leave it. I can open that valve when I surface. But if I have to dive for some reason and the weather's bad or whatever reason, and I don't want to open the hatch, raining, snowing, blizzard, whatever, I can just use this. I can just turn the handle and it closes that valve. It's a little tricky because that ball valve is in a water reservoir to cool it. So the shaft has to penetrate the hull first and then it has to penetrate that reservoir and not leak all the water out because that handle is down low and I want the water level to be up higher. Now it can leak a bit because it just overflows. That's how it works. So that's my project for today. I did a little cleanup job. Pretty happy I did that because it was getting pretty messy in here. Got my new welding helmet, so my welding quality should improve back to where it usually is. And life is good, so I'll try that helmet out today when I weld this in. So that's it for today. Nothing too exciting. Tomorrow we're going to the big city and going to get a bunch of parts and pieces so I can carry on. Ciao.